Hey world, I hope you're having a beautiful day so far. Uh, I'm going to keep going. <laughs> Stubborn like that. And it helps me because I'm upset. And uh, you all would be too. But anyway. Um, so, I'm not proving anything to any of you anymore. Because some of the things that I said will be proven shortly. And some of you know what I said was right. So, that's proof enough. But anyway. Um, G-Dog, Big Jim, they want me not to be ashamed. And be proud to be different. <laughs> Always have been. When I was little, um, I used to speak to spirits or whatever. It was normal to me. I thought it was just my imagination. Um, but anyway, uh, I'm different. I don't have a bad bone in my body. But when you hold stuff in for 40-something years because um, you don't like confrontation or you just didn't see how things really were, when you do, it's hard. <laughs> okay? And acceptance is hard. And when everything got real bad and I couldn't understand what was going on, so I shut everything down to get better. My health is much getting much better um, to figure it out. I didn't like what I was finding out. <laughs> um, when I found some texts saying, you know, I was supposed to come home to a family party during all this heck and uh in the beginning <laughs> and uh I texted my mom saying this is the worst day of my life um I found out many bad things and he's seeing two girls and telling me I I should thank him and her answer was okay are you still coming to the party or should I cancel stuff like that I'm not trying, I'm trying to make you see that I'm not going to be treated like that anymore. All right. Or when somebody ignores you because they don't want to deal with confrontation to break up with you, that hurts. Just be honest, people. Okay. I made my mistake and I, you know. I don't judge people. My past was insane. Not as bad as you all say it was. But you have to take accountability of how you treat other people. Okay? Or else it's never going to get better. And then everybody just blames me and says I was crazy. No, I'm not crazy. I'm just different. I thought I was going crazy. Because I could not believe the things that were actually going on. But if you don't care about like bad stuff that's really going on you can't just ignore it okay um the gossip you all did and the lies and the slander it hurts but i'm not taking it you know um i had a dream apparently there's a I think on both sides of the family, I have grandparents, great-grandparents that were Freemasons. Masons, I don't understand this. I don't know anything about them, but what they're teaching me and showing me. And most, I want to say most, because I know that there's some involved in the world that are bad, just like some bad cops. Not all. When I was, ba when I was doing bad things, I didn't like cops. <laughs> Who would? I'm not doing bad things anymore. But I was always polite to them because my dad was a cop. And I would always, <laughs> when I would go to New York City when I was younger and I'd be drinking and stuff, I'd always call my dad and say, I'm lost. He'd say, go find a cop. How do you get lost on an island? <laughs> He'd be like, yeah, oh, oh, I miss him so much. But anyway, uh, you should be able to go to people who are supposed to keep you safe. Whether it's loved ones, families, police, older, kids should be able, and younger, and adults. <laughs> I forget I'm an adult sometimes. Um, to go for them for help. 
okay? You should be able to go to your family and speak truth to them about what's going on, what happened to you, and them help you. I'm not talking about finances, people. What happened to my debt? You were helping me get my identity fixed. You knew everything that was going on, and all of a sudden it just stopped. Bobby told me that you everyone was calling me Madam Ruby, so they joined in on the gossip. That hurts. Do you understand, people? When my cousin, like, I love you all so much, but you were talking to him the whole time. You didn't talk to me once during this divorce. I, the things that were said about me, I made, I was no angel, people. But I've taken accountability. I was vulnerable. And I fell in love again and I got hurt again. And then I got attacked. And way worse. All right, there is police reports on me. There is slander. There is fraud. My identity, my business was stolen. That's why I'm in the position I'm in. But I have to get better. I have to get stronger. And I realize I'm not taking it anymore. I'm not doing that anymore because everybody just thinks they're entitled and thieves. And I'm not techie. So I'm going to do something else. I've always worked hard. During my marriage, he didn't give me a dime. I see this all now. I didn't see all of it because I was so, I loved him. All right. Then I realized about, I was, I was introduced to his, uh, dating app. I found horrible pictures in his phone. I wasn't, I'm not the kind of girl that goes into other people's phones, but I did because I needed to know. All right. I ran away from him for a reason and I still told you all to get him help. All right, but people who are sneaky or one way in front of other people, but when you, when somebody lives with them, they know them best. And I've never lied to any of you except for during the you know when I made my mistake, I lied, and then I, I, I you know, I made a mistake. I he has not once said he was sorry, taken accountability, told me that I should thank all these women because it gave him his confidence back. And the text, the insane text, the this, that, and I couldn't take it anymore, people. And I'm still moving, and I, my business got sabotaged. None of you helped me. My cousin shows up to set me up. Chrissy and Patrick came and ruined my life. And when I ask about it, I get yelled at. No. Okay. I know what's going to happen because I see things. I get visions. I know what, how this is all going to go down. And that's why I stay the F out of it. Okay? I tried to warn others of you. I think your phones are being listened to. I think this. I didn't know what was going on, but I still tried to warn people. All right? But I had to get away from all of you. I don't want to be involved, and I didn't want my son involved. He's all that matters to me. So I realized I had to take a darn good look at myself, change my life completely. But I never had a bad bone in my body. I made a lot of mistakes. People do. Let it go. But your people, you have to take accountability. It's time. Okay? G-Dog saved my life. And you all just make fun of that. That's weird to me. When someone tells you they've been poisoned and they have evidence and this and that and that, and you don't care, that's very weird to me. Okay? I have, like, you know, I'm sick of trying to do all this paperwork. I had to take a break. Mom, you sent me info on Sloan Kettering. So you believe me, but you tell everybody else different. You always, like, why? All right? I've figured out enough on my own, and you all just want to make fun of it. I don't care. Then you're not my people. I don't care who you are, family, friends, whatever. Okay? I get messages from past on people. It was very weird at first. But then I realized I've always been like this, but I had to get completely sober to listen. And I want to help people with that. Okay? And mom, you were just here. You see I'm not crazy. Okay? So stick up for your daughter. The things, again, I told you should be of your concern. 
Okay? That's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to bring it up again, but I have to let it out. And I also, I'm doing it publicly because maybe it'll help one other woman get the strength to stand up and speak out. Okay? That's all. I'm fine doing it alone. I'm just hurt. But I have to let that all go. And I have to let you all go. All right? But my concerns are legit, world. And what happened to me happened to me. You can't tell me it didn't. All right? But now I want to help other people, encourage other people. If someone's trying to get sober, or if somebody's ganging up the whole community, telling them she's a prostitute or something that's false, I'm going to stick up for that chica. Or that guy that's going through something like this. All right? Because it's hurtful and it's crazy and it, it involves uh, the online, the scams, the fraud under my name, the false messages. I don't message anyone. All right? And you mess with the wrong girl. <laughs> all right? And I'm not going to shush. I'm Irish and stubborn like that. And I love you all still, but stay the F away from me. That's some are more extreme than others, you know. I have a right to, you know, I have rights. I matter. And my son is all that matters to me. And that's why you took him away. All right? It's not going to work. All right? Because there are good... I think I've made enough noise, people. <laughs> all right? And I have to learn... To be okay with publicly saying who I am, what I am, and that's cool. I've always been weird. You don't like it? Don't watch me. You people are just haters. I don't understand it. Backstabbing. Stop it. Bye!